especially the micro... Oh! No, uh-oh. Where did it go? Is it on my hat? No, there it is. It's still in there. It's been jumping on me all morning. And I would love to try and get a very quick view of it under the microscope. You can see it's very pretty. It's actually got lovely sort of copper colors on it. And maybe it will cooperate. I've been trying to train it now for the last five minutes to try and sit still. Because I really want to show you its beautiful eyes. Should we give it a go? This is always painful now. I'm going to apologize in advance. Just give it a little tappy tap tap. You got to go. You have got to go down to the bottom. What can I use to entice it? Mm, a stick? Yes. Now, we've had this discussion. You don't. No, no, you just, you have to stay there. No, get back in your container. Just go in the middle. We were practicing. You were doing so well earlier. It's fighting me. Okay, jump onto Taylor's hand. Jump. We can do circus tricks today. Now I'm going to show you a circus spider. Jump. Jump, spider, jump. Jump. No, 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 no. Oh, I caught it. It's a trapeze artist. Isn't this wonderful? Ooh. No, don't bite me, please. Don't bite me. There, it's on the table again. I really want to get it into its container. In you go, in your house. In your house, please. Okay, let's try it like this quickly. But it likes the light, so the problem I have is that... Oh, okay, let's very quickly go to the microscope. Now I need to try and focus it. There we go, look at that. This is going to be a very quick glimpse because it's, it often likes to jump inside the microscope. You can see it's looking up at the light now. Don't go anywhere. Now I've got to try and figure out how to go. This is the hardest part. It's, I'm so sorry. It's difficult because it's on the edge of the lid and I've got the container uh, sort of twisted slightly. Don't move away, though. There it is. Isn't that color? Look at the colors and the hairs on its entire body. Beautiful, isn't it? Now, jumping spiders are amazing. You, you saw there that it, they do spin webs, but they don't use their webs like... Well, the bark spider does to catch its prey. They actively hunt. And this is, has to be my all-time favorite spider. Just because if they do bite you, you're all right. They don't really produce enough venom for us to harm us. But all spiders have venom. And that venom is almost a digestive aid. It helps liquefy the insides of the various animals. This has actually paid off. Can you believe it? I can't believe I managed to train this spider to sit it was an absolute nightmare. But it's grooming itself at the moment. See how it's bringing all of its legs towards its petty palps and also towards its jaws, having a groom, its spinnerets at the back. Oh, wow. This is lovely. Isn't this so amazing? See, they're just cleaning its whole body. I wonder if it wasn't silk that it was collecting from its spinnerets. It's going to jump, I think. It's going, oh, look at its fangs. Did you see its fangs? Bright red fangs. Massive. So even though something's so small, look how powerful they are. Look at the eyes now. You can see it's looking up. Oh, <laughs> okay, you can come back to me. What's happened there is it has jumped inside the microscope. I'll show you. It's its favorite little spot to sit in there with all the lights. That was really, really cool. I don't think I've ever seen a, a well, fangs like that on a spider before. You see them on the baboon spider quite often, but they're much larger. But when you're looking at something like this, it might be hard for you to see. It's just in over there. It looks like it's on a stage at the moment, don't you think? Thank you, Spider. You've got your TV time. Well done on you. We will release you back onto the silver cluster leaf. 